So my class is going to have to put up with me again tonight. Okay. Uh, my, the to, uh, my lesson tonight, or my devo tonight, is going to be based on Titus chapter 3, if you want to look at that. Titus chapter 3. If, you, if you're like me, when you think about the book of Titus, the first thing that comes to my mind is Titus chapter 1, which tells the qualifications of elders. Uh, but uh, that's not what we're going to talk about tonight. Uh, the book of Titus was written to Titus by Paul when he was on the island of Crete. He said, I left you at Crete for this. And chapter 2 tells a little bit about the people of Crete and their attitudes. And in chapter 2, he discusses a little bit about how Christians should act among themselves. But then, in chapter 3, verses 1 through 11, he goes over how Christians should behave in the present world. And that's what I want to look at today. Uh, chapter 3, verses 1 through 11. And chapter, uh, verse 1 says, Put them in mind to be subject to principalities and powers, to obey magistrates, and to be ready to every good work. So basically what he's saying there is, we need to obey the laws of the land, the, the magistrates, when they don't conflict with God's word. Now, uh, you know, sometimes they have laws that we don't like too much, but if, as long as they don't conflict with God's word, we're supposed to obey them. Things like speed limits and things like that. <laughs> and uh, so we shouldn't get upset with the people. Like a state policeman pulls up for going too fast. We shouldn't get upset with him, especially if we were going too fast. But we need to be mindful of the laws and obey them. Verse 2 says, To speak evil of no man, to be no brawlers, but gentle, showing all meekness unto all men. Uh, without mentioning names, I saw something where someone said, my mother always told me, don't say something unless you say something good. And so she just shut up. <laughs> but that's true. If you can't say something good about someone, what's the point in saying anything? Don't, you know, don't go about spreading out evil rumors and things like that. If you can't say something good, just don't say it. Um, in verse 3, for we ourselves also were sometimes foolish, disobedient, deceived, serving diverse lusts and pleasures, living in malice, envy, hateful, and hating one another. Keep in mind who was writing this now. This was Paul. And we know some of the terrible things that he did. He went about persecuting Christians and, and having them killed. So he was, uh, but he was saying we sometimes did that. Uh, then in verse four it says, "But after that the kindness, after that the kindness and love of God our Savior toward men appeared." In other words, he, uh, the Lord, appeared toward to him, and after being taught, he knew about the kindness and love of God. And then number five, verse 5 says, Not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy he saved us, by washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Ghost, which he shed on us abundantly through Jesus Christ our Savior. If we go back to Acts chapter 2, when they asked him, What must we do to be saved? What did he say? He said, Repent and be baptized for the remission of your sins in the name of Christ. And you will receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. So, um, then, verse 8. This is a faithful saying, and these things I will that thou affirm constantly, that they which have believed in God might be careful to maintain good works. These things are good and profitable unto men. If we look at James 4, 17, what does it say? It says, to know to do good and not do it is sin. So uh, we need to do 
maintain good works. And then verse 9 says, Avoid foolish questions and genealogies and contentions and strivings about the law, for they are unprofitable and vain. The Jews put a whole lot of stock in heritage, in their ancestry and all that. And so he's saying, you know, that's, we don't need to waste a lot of time doing that. Uh, don't, uh, and don't be arguing and striving with each other. Uh, for those of you who know me, you know that's one of the things I hate the most is to get into arguments and contentions. So uh, we need to avoid that. And then verse 10 says, A man that is an heretic after the first and second admonition reject. In other words, if someone's an unbeliever and you can't reach them, then you might as well leave them alone, reject them. And then knowing that he is that is such is subverted and sinneth being condemned of himself. He's doing it to himself, not, not that we're doing it. So, uh, and then to all of that, I want to add one thing, and that's uh, 1 Corinthians 3, 13. And uh, let me get it out here so I don't quote it incorrectly. I'm sorry, 13.3, I said it wrong. 13.3. And although I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned, and have not love, it profits me nothing. In other words, all the good works and everything that we can do, if we're not doing them through love, we're not really gaining anything by doing it as far as, as God is concerned. So we need to make sure that we show our love toward each other, but we also need to maintain our lives in doing good as much as possible. Uh, so if you're here tonight and you have not accepted God as your Savior, had not been baptized, or Jesus as your Savior, been baptized into his death, or... If you've not been living up to the expectations of God's word and have sin living in your life that needs to be repented of, we are offering the invitation at this time for you to do that. God is calling the product.